It's time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment. And I'm joined here by Catalina Marchandiabro. Welcome to you, Catalina. Thank you, Tom. Now, in today's segment, we're going to be looking at how pro-Russian bloggers are covering the war in Ukraine. Tell us a bit more. Russian war bloggers with hundreds of thousands of followers on social media have been publishing reports from Ukraine, mainly from the Russian-controlled city of Mariupol. These bloggers are mostly embedded in Russian military units where they film vi videos very close to the action. Let's start with a war blogger, Semyon Pegov, a former correspondent for Russian state TV channel, a journalist by trade. In 2017, he became a war blogger and now he has over 800,000 followers on uh, his YouTube channel and over 1 million followers on his Telegram a channel called War Gonzo. Here's an example of uh, one of his videos posted on uh, May 1st, and he's embedded in a pro-Russian military unit in Donetsk, and he publishes videos on a Telegram of their day-to-day -day operations, mainly in the city of Mariupol. Uh, but overall, in his Telegram channel, we see videos like these. Uh, this one posted for on April 21st. He shows uh, pro-Russian soldiers being greeted uh, by residents at the entrance of Donetsk. Uh, they're waving these red and blue flags from a pro pro-Russian military unit called the Young Republic. There's also this video right here from April 20th where we see Russian soldiers saying hello and congratulating themselves for eliminating the Bandovsky, a term they use for Ukrainian nationalists. There's uh, this war blogger as well, Vladlin Tatarsky, who is a Russian, a former Russian soldier who rebrands himself as a war blogger slash content creator. Uh, in Telegram, he has over uh, 282,000 followers and he posts almost exclusively uh, videos from combat zones. And here's the latest uh, post he has from today in uh, Mariupol. Uh, as we can see, he's a half blogger, half soldier. Uh, but what, what you can also see from these war bloggers is a fabricated pro-Kremlin narrative of the war of happy and victorious soldiers, which makes them fall somewhere in between journalists and uh, disinformation. Uh, we interviewed Jack Margolin on the topic, a conflict specialist at the American Center for Advanced Defense Studies. Let's take a listen. You get the full spectrum of like genuine, accurate reporting, all the way to absolutely like something that's completely fabricated. They're pushing this the same message that Ukraine is conducting a genocide that Russia is here to save these, these, these populations. This is an effort at, as they would say, denazification. So we have many pro-Russian channels on a Telegram, evidently, run by people that sit between a place uh, in between journalists and a soldier. Uh, these reports get picked up and laundered by Kremlin news, obviously painting a more positive image of the war, uh, which has an enormous utility in a Russian propaganda. Tom. All right. Thank you very much indeed for that. Catalina Marchandiabro, thank you for today's edition. Thank you, Tom. Of Truth or Fake.